All right. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, my name is Matt. I'm with Curbside Laundries, and just want to thank everybody for attending and being, you know, making time to take a look at different point of sale systems and what to look for in a point of sale system as well. And if you have any questions, there's a question box at the bottom, and go ahead and you could just submit a question. I may save the questions for the end of the presentation. And we're going to be getting through everything in about one hour. There's really about at least two hours of content, but we're going to be powering through. Just cover as much stuff as possible and make best use of your time. And first off, I'd like to thank Sudsies. So they help sponsor our webinar to help make it happen. And so we are laundry owners too. And so we have Super Suds. It's a laundromat over in Long Beach, California. And we we buy a lot of our um, supplies through Sudsies for uh, vending products. We get our carts through them. Um, they're family-owned, great company, great to work with, and we really appreciate their sponsorship to help make this happen. And they help people, you know, all over the country as well at different laundromats. Um, so today we're going to be. These are the things we're going to be covering. So we're going to tell tell you a little bit about our story, you know, our background, or who we are. Uh, with curbside laundries and our laundry experience. Then we're going to show a video of a customer using, um, doing an interaction, placing an order, and so you can see the wash and fold interaction. And it's totally vastly different than, um, you know, with the standard point of sale. So it's really cool to check out. Going to walk through the software so you can see, uh, you know, what it looks like and see how easy it is to use. Then we're going to cover what to look for in a point of sale system. And then I'm going to share some customer success stories. And, and then finally, we're going to cover an upcoming new feature. So this is our commercial module with automatic invoicing. And it's going to be really cool. And that's coming out later in March. So that's, um, that's the neat part about our software. It's in the cloud. We're constantly updating it, putting in new features that help make you more money. So um, you're always up to date. And then we'll open up to questions and answers. So once again, if you have any questions, you could just on that panel on your right-hand side, I believe you could go ahead and type in a question and do my best to get to everybody's answer questions. All right, so about us, um, we have a family-owned laundromat, and it's been, we, we've had it uh, since about 1998. Um, it's about, uh, let me bring up the next slide. It's, so here's a picture of it. It's about 8,000 square feet. We have about 200 machines, and, um, it, and the best thing we ever did was get into wash and fold. So I know some people are hesitant to get in a wash and fold or so, um, because, but it is probably one of the best things that happened to us. Um, on the following screen, this is our wash and fold income. And so you could see from, and this is per month, and, and you could see we started in 1998. And, you know, for the longest time, we we're doing between six to 8,000 a month. And then my brother took over operations and he started promoting us. Um, by creating a just one of the top-notch websites that is so important. So if you don't have a website, that is one of the keys to our growth as well. Um, and we do provide our clients with websites as well. Um, the and then we also started doing online advertising, and so that helped us bring in new customers. And our software helped keep all our customers happy and helped us eliminate all these mistakes. So it's really a two-part. I mean, you know, the wash and fold business. It's not overnight success, it really comes down to just two things, bringing new customers in and keeping the ones you have happy, and that's it. Um, so, so the website and online advertising is very important, and then also the software just to make sure you're treating your customers like people and remembering their preferences and uh, versus you know treating them like strangers every time they come in. And um, so we'll get more into that in just a little bit. So we provide just a sort of, Three different services. We provide the point of sale ter terminal, the software for in store, and that's for your in store wash and fold. And uh, we provide the hardware with the touch screen, the, the thermal ticket printer, and um, um, and then we also provide the online ordering tool. So if you get into pickup and delivery, we have all the logistics there covered as well. So you don't have to train your employees on two different systems. So that's one thing our clients really like about us is it's one-stop shop. You know, they don't have one solution for in-store and a different solution for pickup and delivery. So we make it very easy. Um, and then we also provide a laundromat website. And the laundromat website, it's not just a typical website. It's designed, it's actually originally designed by an Inc. 500 company. And 
they research, we're talking about top, top talent, you know, experts in their field, and they research what brings laundromat websites to the front page of Google. And, and they, you know, and so, and, and so we spent a lot of money on research and development before they even started developing the website. And they did just a standout job. And we realized how important this was to our business and how much it helped us grow. And so that's one of the reasons we provide that to our clients as well. So it's an option you don't, if you already have a website, you may not need it, but, uh, or if you're looking to upgrade your website or don't have a website, then it's definitely worth looking into. This right over here is an incognito window. So that way it's making sure my search results are not biased, um, which is very important. Uh, and then I could type in laundromat near Long Beach, California. And so I'm just showing the organic results of our website. Um, so we're, we are super suds. That's our laundromat. And so we're listed number one, right front page of Google. And we're in a city of 500,000 people. So I mean, it, it, it doesn't, it, it's a big, big city. And to get listed number one there is big. Um, and then Yelp is listed first because they're Yelp. Um, however, right after Yelp, we are the first laundromat listed under laundromat. So that's a big deal. And we get a whole bunch of new customers as a result of our laundromat website, not only for our wash and fold business, but even our self-serve picked up as well. Um, and I could even do a wash and fold as well. And super, this is a paid ad up here. See, it says ad right there. So that doesn't really count because we paid more money than the next, you know, and if somebody clicks on the link, it charges us two bucks or them two bucks. Um, so the ads don't count. I'm talking about the organic stuff, the stuff you don't pay for, stuff you're just listed there because you have a great website. And you can see we're listed the first organic search result. And then right after Yelp, we're super suds, super suds, and super suds. So we just own the marketplace. And as a result, we're just capturing a whole bunch of new customers. Every month, you have people who are looking for wash and fold or laundromats, and they either find you online or they find your competition. You know, one question I always say is like, when is the last time you went to a restaurant and didn't look them up, didn't look it up online? You know, you probably looked the, for the online reviews and stuff. Um, well, your customers are doing the same thing. Before they even step foot into a laundromat, they're doing searches online to see your online presence, and they make their decision whether to step into your laundromat or not. So take one thing away from this presentation. It's pay attention to your online presence. And that's something we help out a lot, you know, with our clients. All right. So those are the three basic offerings. Um, now I'm going to show you a video of placing an order on the store uh, in the store. So this is it's a reenactment. They're both employers, but you could see there's you're going to see something really special, which is um, we basically have the customer's preferences on file. We have the payment information on file. And, and this is a repeat customer. It's somebody who's already been in there before. And you'll see how easy it is to come in and come out. The customer doesn't even have to open up their wallet. And the, email, the receipt automatically gets emailed to them. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and play the video. And so that'll just take a second to start playing. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, take off the drop off. Alrighty. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you. What's the last name? I'm driving. Maria? Yes. Okay. Tomorrow morning, okay? Yeah, it's fine. And that was long or only, correct? Yes. Okay. So we're looking at tomorrow at 10 a.m., is that all right? Yeah, it's fine. And we're still got your preferences, cold wash only? Yes. Any other special instructions? Uh, no, that should be fine. Okay. And we're using the visa that you have here on file, yes. ending in 0027? Mm -hmm. Okay. So everything looks good. So we'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, thank you. All right, have a good day. All right, so there's a whole bunch of things that happen in that video, uh, which create a better customer experience. And that was the customer is able to get in and out. They could basically just drop off their clothes, and they don't even have to open up their wallet. Compare that to if they went somewhere else, and they have to wait for their clothes to be weighed. They have to wait until they have to wait for the receipt. They have to, you know, maybe wait in line because it's taking so long. Um, and, and here, they're basically able to just drop it off and go out the door. And we, we have transactions that go like 30 seconds to a minute. It's so fast, and the customers love it because they're in and out, and they're paying for convenience. So about half of our customers do that. It's called Express Pay. 
and meaning they keep their credit card on file. And once they do express pay, we find they spend more money and they come back more often because it's a better experience. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and walk through the software so you can see what it looks like behind the scenes. And um, so right over here, this is the back end of the software. So this is what your employees log into, um, and it's through your point of sale terminal. But our software is in the cloud, so you could access it from your phone or from a tablet, um, but mainly you'll be accessing it from the point of sale terminal as well. So a customer comes in, and you simply ask for their name, or you could get their phone number. So I did a search for Sim or Simmons, and it brings up all the different Simmonses, and it works great with touch screen. So all your employee has to do is tap new order next to the person's name of who you want to create an order for. If it's a new customer, you just tap create a new customer right there. So this is a returning customer right here. And right over here it's saying, is the customer dropping off or picking up their order? And this is only if you're doing pickup and delivery, otherwise you won't even see it. So this allows your attendant, if you want, to schedule a pickup and delivery. So if somebody calls into the laundromat, you could do it that way. You could also have it so the uh, customer could actually um, schedule their own pickup and delivery online. So we'll go ahead and say yes, they're picking up their order. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do a poll right now. And so I'm gonna see how many, um, of you are doing in-store versus pickup and delivery or both. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch the poll. And so go ahead and uh, just click on your screen. Are you doing, if you're doing self-serve, um, go ahead and click on that. If you're doing wash and fold, click on that too. And if you're doing pickup and delivery or looking to do pickup and delivery, this will give me a good idea as far as what to cover and what to get into. And all right, so we have about 60% of people voted. So I'm going to go ahead and close the poll, so if you haven't voted yet. And here are the results. So everybody on the line is doing self-serve. That's good to hear because, you know, sometimes people are just looking to get into laundry business, which is great, too. 100% uh, of everybody online is doing wash and fold, which makes sense because that's why you're here. About half of you are, wow, <laughs> either everybody's doing pickup and delivery or they're looking to add pickup and delivery. That is awesome. Um, what is so neat is our self-serve help fund our wash and fold, you know, help pay for the attendant and all that. And now our wash and fold makes more money than our self-serve. And now the pickup and delivery is, is growing at such a big clip. It is our fastest growing part of our business. And probably a year from now, actually, I think already it's doing better than our self-serve or, or pretty close. Um, so it is just a shooting star. So yeah, I'm glad people are either doing pickup and delivery or looking to add it. All right, so right over here, this is what your attendant fills out. And we, keep in mind, we made every possible mistake at our laundromat you could possibly imagine in Wash and Fold. And we knew it was because we we're using a point of sale or actually paper tickets and, and there's just problems with our process. And so we knew if we corrected the process on every single order through software, it would eliminate almost all these different mistakes. And, and so that's, you know, we basically made Dream Software to do exactly what we want, you know, with the Dream List of features to do what we wanted to do. Um, so right over here, it says, um, and, and we designed it to eliminate these mistakes. And we knew where the mistakes were happening, we just couldn't stop them um, until we had the software. So right over here, you can see no laundry orders in the queue. Well, what that'll let you know is if you're getting real busy, It'll turn yellow than red and let your attendant know, hey, instead of having the clothes ready, telling the customer to have to come by tomorrow on Friday, you may be better off coming on Saturday because we know for sure we'll have it done. Um, so, um, so that alerts your attendant as far as if you have a whole bunch of orders you need to do. The second part is right over here. When is the customer going to pick it up? And it defaults to the next day at about the same time. So... Um, so right over here, sometimes in, you ask, the, so this is an important question to ask. Um, what time, does the 11 o'clock work well for you? And if they say, no, I need it done later today, no problem. You could just change the date to today. You could change the time to, let's say, 5 o'clock. And it will automatically add a surcharge, 25 or 35 cents up to you, for same-day service, if you want. 
um, and this helps eliminate mistakes as well. It'll also put it at the top of the laundry list so your attendant knows to do this order first because the customer is coming by first as well. All right, over here we have a whole bunch of payment options. This is key. And, you know, most of our competition, it's, it's like point of sales that are designed for the restaurant industry. It's designed for when you buy a hamburger and the transaction is over. You know, it's one point in time. Wash and fold is a totally different animal. So a lot of times people pay ahead of time. Sometimes they pay after. Um, you, and, and there's a whole bunch of different ways of paying. And the order isn't done when they pay sometimes. You know, so with other software, you're kind of keeping the transaction open and you're kind of working around the software. Our software matches the process, and that's really big. So a customer could either pay when they pick up the clothes, in which case they could just drop off the clothes and be on their way, or you could create an estimate for them and let them know how much it's going to cost because some customers want an estimate, some just want to, you know, they know how much it's going to cost about and they're just into convenience. That being said, you could also pay now with cash or credit card, or better yet, you could keep your credit card on file. So if somebody does pay by credit card, you could say, hey, if you want, you could keep that on file and then that way, um, you know, it save, saves you time in the future. So, and it's PCI compliant. We only store the last four digits of the credit card, so it's very secure. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pay now with cash. And so now because they're paying now with cash, we need to build out the order because that way we know how much it's gonna cost. Um, if they were paying when they pick it up or they have the credit card on file, they don't have to stick around for you doing this. You could actually, this gets done after the clothes are laundered. So you're weighing off the dry weight. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do wash and fold. And then you hit the scale. And our software could automatically grab the weight from the scale, which is really cool. Uh, this is our employer's favorite part. And it does it to the decimal. And then all you have to do on touch screen, you hit add weight. And then if there's a second bag, you put the second bag on, on there and you tap add weight again. That saves so many mistakes, <laughs> it's not even funny, because number one, a lot of times the tenants are not adding up decimals, or they're adding it up wrong, and nine out of ten orders have a decimal, and I've talked to so many laundry owners who just round down to the lowest pound, and they're leaving a lot of money on the table every day. So now you've got accurate weight, and that's very helpful. Uh, in addition, anytime there's handwriting, or writing a zero looks like an eight, or vice versa, that leads to mistakes. So we try and get rid of handwriting. Um, so we go ahead and hit done. So, and then we'll go ahead and hit next. And you can also do per item charges like comforters or things like that as well. So the total amount is $42. I'm gonna say the person gives me $50 and we give them $7.77 change. And then I hit pay order. And at this time I could either, I could give the customer a receipt if I want. Um, or I could, it could automatically get emailed to them. And, and then I also want a ticket. I want to label that order so I know exactly um, who's, so that way I know exactly whose order that is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, print out a ticket. So you just hit print. And there's one thing I, I want to show you just so you could see um, at our laundromat. So yeah, I'll show you in just a second. So right over here, this is the receipt, and I could print out a receipt for the customer, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit complete order. And now we're ready to bend the order. So you can see right over here, this is my order right over here, and I'm going to go ahead and print out a ticket and label it, and then bin it. So bin is our jargon for putting it on one of our shelves. So here's a picture from our laundromat. This We have the order ticketed, so we know whose order this belongs to. And then we put it on our shelf. So that way, these are the un incompleted orders or dirty clothes right here. Each one is in a separate bin. If the customer has a, we have our own bags too, so you want to make sure it's sealed up so the socks don't jump out of there. And then the completed orders are up on top. All right, and we also number each one of our bins or each one in our, in our area. And so I'll show you what that accomplishes. So I go ahead and hit bin and it knows it's 27 pounds, and I'm gonna put it on shelf 105. So that way the launder is gonna know exactly where this person's order is, and then I hit save. So that order is binned, and now we're ready to go ahead and launder it.
All right, so now I'm going to switch hats. I'm going to switch to a launderer. And the launderer could see how many pounds of clothes there are to do. We had a minimum wage employee use her cell phone from home. She saw there was too much clothes for her to do on her own. And then she, um, and she was able to call for help. And, you know, we basically gave her the tools to do that, but she took the initiative. It was just amazing. Like, there's no other way that a, an employer is going to call into a laundromat and say, oh, how many pounds of clothes do you have? You know, nobody knows. But our software keeps track of the weight, so you do know. And I'm going to do another poll. And this one is, how many of, um, does your laundromat accept quarters, tokens, um, cards, or do you have cards and quarter hybrid? So if you could just go ahead and answer that, answer those. That way, um, because our software could work different depending on what type of solution you have. And share the results. All right, so we've got 11% uh, using quarters, 11% using tokens, 33% using cards, and almost half using a combination of cards and quarters. That's very fascinating. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the... Um, laundry list. And so this is the order. Normally this would be a huge list of all your orders that, that you need to, to launder. And we could see it's on shelf 105, so it's very easy for the attendant to find. And then, it's, and we could also see it's 27 pounds. And so I could grab that order, I could print out more tickets to help me label the machines, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in the washing machines. So I'm going to hit laundering. All right, so if you want, and this is one of the reasons why I asked you about quarters or cards. If you want, this is optional, you could tap add washer. So if you want to track which machines they're using and how much money they put in, whether they're card or quarter, you could do that. And we could put another load in machine number two, and, and we could do that as well. And this will track how much money your attendants are spending. A lot of the quarter laundromats, you know, they use spiral notebooks and they're writing down, um, how much each person's using on the order. This does it automatically. And then you could see how much they spent on each order. And it's a good metric, even for if you're using cards, because you know sometimes an employee will just put a whole big load into the dryer and put the dryer on like forever and cook the clothes you know, just because they know it'll be dry and they don't. So this way you could kind of check to make sure they're using the right machine mix. And, and it also keeps track of which machines they're using and when. So the customer just taps add washer, but it's also doing time tracking and it's remembering which employees are doing it. So if they're loading up all the machines at one time, you know, that might not be the best because now they're hogging up your customer's machines and you want to make sure they kind of spread it out throughout the day, not just get it all done at once. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and move it over to the dryer. But before I do that, I just want to show you a picture. So this is at our laundromat and this is how we label our orders. So we put magnets on there. Probably one of the important parts is please do not remove so customers don't take it. And then we put the order number down here. A very common mistake that happens is the attendants will load up Bob's order over here, Sally's order over here, and then they start the machines, and then they label them, and then they forget whose order is in the middle. So I don't know why that happens, but it happens. <laughs> so, and so that's it's really important just to let your attendants know just to work on one order at a time, get it started, then move on to the next order. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put the this order in the dryer. Another reason to use the machine tracking is that now a lot of laundry owners will tell their attendants, don't do any orders, you know, within the last hour, last half hour of your shift, because they don't want them starting an order and then the next person doesn't know where it's at. Well, now it's really easy. I know that Matt's order is in washing machine one and two. Now I'm going to move it to the dryer. So now you could be productive during all hours, not just during the middle of somebody's shift. All right, so I'll put that in machine number two. And now I go ahead and hit complete. One other thing to remember is you could do all of this on a tablet. So for like $200 Android device, you can have your employees using a tablet and so they don't have to go back to the kiosk to tap these buttons. And it just speeds things up quite a bit. All right, so this is to complete an order. And this right over here, um, if they hadn't prepaid, or if it was a pickup and delivery, this is the time you would build out the order and you would say, hey, it's wash and fold and how many pounds is it? And that's really important because, um, you, you know, this way it's, it's letting your attendant know when to do it and so they don't miss that step. So especially when you scale, it's, uh, you know, if you're throwing them curveballs and you're changing when you're building out the order, 
sometimes they forget. So our software makes sure they always remember. They can't move on to the next step until they, they do that. Um, in addition, our software gets the initial weight and the final weight. So if there's a discrepancy, you could tell, and that is so important. You could look up any order. And so if a customer call, calls in and says, you lost my Gucci jacket, you could look up that order and see the initial weight is the same as the final weight, and you could show them that, and then they'll say, oops, my mistake. But if you don't have that information, they're going to believe their own mistake. They're going to think it's true, that you really lost their stuff. So unless you could prove you're, you did it right, um, you're kind of at their mercy. Unless you, you know, there's not a good alternative. Unless you want to say either they're a liar or not, that's not a good path to go. So it's best just to have that information, and then usually, yeah, people are very, um, they understand. Another really important part is how many packages. And this prints out on our tickets. So here's a copy of a completed ticket. You can see it says three packages. So that's really important because for a lot of reasons. Um, very common mistake. Cus customer comes in, they say, hey, I want my clothes back. And your attendant, you know, kind of a little bit flustered and trying to get it to them quickly. They just grab the first bag they see and they don't realize that this person, Heather, has two more bags on that same shelf. And then especially if you're doing pickup and delivery, you got a lot of places where that same mistake could happen. One is when you load up the truck, you might leave two of Heather's bags back at the laundromat. And then two, when you get to Heather's house and you just grab the first bag you see, not going through the whole truck. So knowing how many packages is so important. And yes, you could handwrite it on each order, but it doesn't always happen. Our software makes sure it happens every time. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it's two packages. And I'm going to put it on shelf 105 so I know exactly where it's at. And then I hit complete order. And training's really easy with this just because it's usually the green button that tells you where to go next. You just hit the green button to complete the order. And then the final step is the customer wants to pick up their clothes. So you hit customer pickup right across the top. Here are the different orders that need to be picked up. And I could see that, so if this person comes in, I could go ahead and just tap picked up. And is Matt Simmons picking up the order? Yes. Now this red square right over here, that means the order's been sitting on our shelf for 43 days. And you know that type of stuff happens because you may just be relying on your attendants going back and forth and say, you know, I think this package has been sitting here for a little while. Um, so with our software, it actually keeps track of it. It sends out an email or a text notification when, it's, when the order's ready. It, it sends out, Oh, there's some loud lightning and thunder. We're not used to rain over here in California. Um, all right, so so in any ways, we've got, so, so then it also sends out a text or email reminder within uh, seven days and 14 days and 21 and 30 days to remind them to pick up their clothes. And if you want, you could simply tap reminder and it'll send a person a text message to come in and pick up their clothes. That way, you keep your shelves clear and you're not turning into a storage facility. So that really helps a lot. Um, the other part is sometimes customers pay ahead of time. Sometimes they pay when they pick up their clothes. So right over here, uh, and a very common mistake is if you do both, it's really easy to give the customer their clothes and then you realize they never paid for it. So our software makes it real obvious that this person hasn't paid yet. So and then you simply tap pay to accept the credit information. So that's really where what Wash and Fold, every order is different. Some people pay ahead, some people pay later, some get way ahead, some get way later. Our software takes care of all those different pathways and just makes it real easy for your attendants to keep track of it, which again, makes it easier to train your employees so you don't make those mistakes anymore. All right, so I'm gonna quickly do the pickup and delivery. This is a website template of you know what we provide for our clients, and of course you have yours customized you know for your operations. It ranks really high on Google, um, and then the customer simply would hit schedule pickup. And what's really cool about this too, it's cell phone optimized. So if they're on their cell phone, that's your money button. It says schedule pickup, and all they have to do is tap that button, and that's your money button. It's like a 24-hour salesman to accept orders. And as soon as we added that button to our website, the schedule pickup button, our pickup and delivery went up by about 30%. So it was dramatic. So that's, um, if you are doing pickup and delivery, you need an easy way for customers to schedule their, their pickup. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit schedule pickup. And, and then the customer um, could go ahead and just tap create a new order. They could also view their previous orders as well. 
And it's super easy. Our system is based on demand. So when they want to order it, they can, just like Uber. And you could go ahead and choose the pickup date, the pickup time. Um, you could even choose your delivery time and date. And if they're doing dry cleaning, it knows to that their delivery date will, can't be the next day. It's going to be two or three days after that. Um, in addition, our software remembers the driver notes. So you don't have to type that in every time. So that's really cool. Um, especially our Airbnb clients who have a whole bunch of Airbnbs, the management companies. So if I do a different address right over here, it changes the driver note. So they don't have to type that in every single time. Those time saving things make it more convenient for your customers because they're on their cell phones and they don't want to, you know, tap, you know, you know they don't want to type every single time. They just want to click next. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And once again, our software remembers the customer's preferences. And this is the same, if this customer comes into the store, they, you know, our attendants know they like cold wash only as well. So I'll go out and hit next. They could do any options they want. And then I'll go out and hit next again. And now that now you just want to make sure everything is correct before placing your order. And then you hit enter billing. So we do require a credit card for the residential customers. And, and so this, this is the, um, to, to enter in their credit card information. If the credit card does not go through, because we don't charge them until their clothes are clean, but if the credit card doesn't go through, we'll send them a link so they could update their own credit card information. And, and then that's one less thing your employers have to do. Nobody wants to make that phone call and say, hey, your credit card didn't go through. So our software does it indiscreetly. They update it, and our software makes sure the clothes don't get delivered until it's paid for. So I'm going to do a $5 gratuity. You could do a promo code if you want, and then you place the order. So um, we're going to be, for the clean show in June, we're going to be adding a whole bunch of new features for the pickup and delivery. So we're going to be allowing for reoccurring. So you could, so a customer could say, I want you to come by every week or once every two weeks or once a month. Uh, we're going to be adding zones so you could service different areas on different days and different times. Uh, we're going to be also offering multiple locations. So you could pick up the clothes and drop it off at laundromat A or laundromat B. So, um, and, and just making the whole experience like even better. All right, so let's get back to the uh, presentation. And number one, as far as when you're looking at a point of sale system, a lot of people are using pen and paper and, and versus the tickets. The tickets, can't stress enough, that is, prob that is something that touches every single order. So you wanna make sure that represents professionalism. So on the left, you got a handwritten ticket. On the right, you have the professionally printed ticket. Um, the one on the left, you've got cross outs going on this it's a real ticket and so the customer is like why is it you know the pound changed you know um why you know what's this ampm also it says four packages that they probably wrote later because it's in a different pen so they could have forgot that and now they have to reprint this out or rewrite it on all four packages it takes a lot of time you know versus with our software you just hit print four copies boom also if you notice we don't have firm hands phone number so if there's a problem you know, it's just another thing to do versus our software prints out the customer's information, which helps out your attendant. On the flip side, this doesn't have the laundromat's information on the left. So if Firm Hands is not happy with something or they want to schedule a pickup, there's no phone number. So with our tickets, it has your laundromat's phone number on it as well. And you could do custom messages on it as well. So you could even say uh, for your self-serve, you could or for your in-store wash and fold, you could say, hey, next time, schedule pickup and delivery at supersuds.com. Um, for your pickup and delivery customers, you could say, hey, try our dry cleaning. So those are the best people to market to are your existing customers. All right, so, yeah, we covered the website. That's, once again, that's probably one of the most important uh, parts to, um, to your business, you know, as far as growing it. You know, I talked to somebody who said, no, a website's not very important. I'm like, you know, why, you know, what makes you think that? Or why do you feel that way? He goes, well, you know, I asked all my customers, how did you find us? And nobody found us online. And it turns out he didn't have a website. <laughs> and it's, so it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. He was still doing great business, but he could be doing even more if he had a good web presence. So everybody could benefit from it, no matter where you're at. So I'm going to um, go ahead and launch a poll. And, you know, again, most places do not have websites, so, you know, no pressure, you know, but it's, just, it's easy, easy to overlook. Um, and so I went ahead and put out a poll about do we have a website? Um, 
and or if you don't, and then if you have commercial accounts or if you don't. Um, so it's kind of a two-part question. So if you have a website or don't, go ahead and answer the poll. Um, and and the second question is, do you have commercial accounts? And you know, commercial accounts, that's the elusive holy grail. So we'll be talking a little bit about that in just a moment. So we've got, it looks like a pretty sophisticated group here. Let me go ahead and hit, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, share the results. Or it could just be the people who filled out the poll. Um, all right, so we've got 100% of everybody with a website. And from, and, and then we've got most of the places have over six commercial accounts. So from my experience, I have not, so I've not talked to any place with more than just a few commercial accounts that do not have a website. So, I, you know, it's because, so I'm kind of preaching to the choir, to the people who answer the poll, um, but the, it, it's people are not driving around the neighborhood looking for a laundromat. They're going online, and so are regular residential customers too, but especially commercial accounts. So if you don't have commercial accounts, um, you know, it may be take a look at your web presence because that's how they're finding you. All right, so right over here we have POS versus BPMS. This is basically a POS, a lot of acronyms. POS is point of sale versus a business process management solution. So that's a mouthful. But the difference is a point of sale is what you imagine at a restaurant. You know, it helps you accept credit cards. It does a printed ticket. It's cheap, you know, where, you know, comparatively, you could just buy it, you own it, so that's cool. Um, but the problem with the point of sale is it does not match the wash and fold process because the point of sale is really a point in time and wash and fold does not begin and end at, you know, one point in time. So the business process management system, that's what we provide. And, and so what's important there is it matches the wash and fold process you know, from beginning to end. It doesn't matter if they're paying ahead of time, paying later. It also acts as a CRM, so it remembers the customer. You know, it's like a customer relationship system as well. And so it remembers the customer's preferences and how they like to pay. A business process management system helps eliminate mistakes because, once again, it's following the process along, make sure everything's getting done at the right time in the right place, and the right information's getting communicated to the right person at the right time meaning your launder will know exactly how that person likes their clothes and your driver knows exactly where to go and any special driver instructions. Um, it tracks every order. So, so, you know, with a paper system, once that order is done, good luck trying to find record of it again. Um, you're better able to track your business, your, your business metrics, because you could see how many new customers you're bringing in. Um, so that's, that's really important as well. Um, so the, for, for example, if you're just using a point of sale system, all the information you're really going to know is how much you made that month and maybe how many transactions. With our software, you're able to see exactly how many new customers you brought in and you're able to really track your business. You can see how many people are still using your software or using your wash and fold and how many people, you know, stopped using it, how much everybody's spending per month. Um, you're able to look up any order. You're able to track employee performance, like how many pounds they washed, um, all, all of those things. You're able to send out reminders. Um, the, the con, I'd say, is it only works for laundromats. So we get calls from dry cleaners and we just say, no, there's dry cleaning software out there. This is just for laundromats. Um, and again, everything is built around it and it's just hyper-focused. So the experience is always going to be better um, for laundromats because that's what it's made for. Um, these are some of the common mistakes. I'm just going to kind of briefly go through it so I have time to get to the questions and answers. Um, right over here, it helps eliminate mixed up orders. Now, when you mix up an order, that's an expensive mistake because you could lose two customers. One, the person who got, who's missing clothes, and you could also miss the people who, um, um, the person who's got too much clothes could wind up leaving the laundromat as well. All right, so, so another thing is, not receiving payment. So we kind of talked about that. Um, our software makes sure all orders are paid for before um, before you return the clothes to them. And also losing customer orders. You know, so that sometimes happens in our industry. With our system, we can look up any order and see exactly where it is and who touched it, who washed it, who laundered it, who dried it. So if any issues come up, you know exactly who to talk to.
All right. Um, now over here we have local versus cloud. Now what that means is local is when you buy a computer system or point of sale system and, and it's just all right there, including all your data is right there. So, and in the cloud, our software is in the cloud, uh, meaning it's in the internet. Um, you're just accessing it, accessing it through that terminal, but the software, all the brains and all that stuff and data is stored in the cloud. So with the local system, um, you need to be at the store to access it. If it's in the cloud, you could access all that information from home. You could use it for marketing and, and you have, you know exactly who to market to and things like that. Um, or if you need to look up an order, help out a customer. Um, also, if it's local, your data is not backed up. That's a big deal. So, um, you know, if your system crashes, are you okay with losing all that data? And yes, you can manually back it up, but how often does that happen? And, and you're still in uh, dire straits for, you know, what about your existing orders that you lost? So with our system, your data is always backed up and you could access it from your phone or a tablet or the computer. Um, if you, with a local system, you get limited updates or no updates at all. With ours, ours, it's always up to date. So when we roll out new features, next time you log in, you've got new new features. Um, local, it's not practical for pickup and delivery. Um, and as I mentioned before, with our system, because it's in the cloud, people could schedule their own pickup and deliveries. That's how people like to place their orders. And our business, our delivery business went up 30% as, as soon as we added online orders. Um, not being able to communicate with customers if it's local because it's not connected to the internet. Our system connects, communicates automatically by email and text messages. And later on, we're going to be enhancing that to help with customer retention and reaching out to people who stop coming in. And so it's going to be just amazing. It's going to close the loop and make sure that, you know, the website will help bring new people in and the software will help keep them there. Benefit of a local is you own it um, versus ours is like a subscription. Um, that being said, the analogy I like to use is if you join a gym, yeah, you could buy your own exercise equipment or B, you could have much better experience if you join a gym and your point of sale system or your business process management system touches every single one of your customers. So it makes sense to make it the best. And so you could keep track of your business. Um, for example, even knowing how many new customers you brought in is so important because that way you know if your marketing is working uh, versus just looking at your bottom line and then you really don't know, did, it, did I get new customers or not? Um, so here's part of the customer experience. Um, right over here is um, the most important thing is you want to make your customers feel special. You want to know who they are So versus treating them like a stranger. Um, you know, with our system, it remembers how they like to pay, it remembers their preferences, it remembers all their order history, it remembers if they get any special pricing. And, you know, I've got a friend who does dry cleaning once a week. He goes into a dry cleaner. He's been doing it for 10 years. And once I told him about our system, he's like, oh, my gosh, at my dry cleaner, I have to go in. Uh, and every single time, I have to pull out my wallet. I have to tell them how I want stuff done. And, and and he's been going there for 10 years. And, and so it's just better to, to remember how your customer's preferences. And then that makes them loyal because you know who they are and they don't want to have to explain it every single time they come in. All right, so here our system texts people, it emails people, and you could also communicate to them through the tickets. Um, we have tons of business tracking, and that's because our system is made for wash and fold. So it keeps track of your transactions. Um, so you can look at your daily transactions, whether it's pickup and delivery or over the counter. Um, it keeps track of the total pounds of laundered by employee. It keeps track of your new customers, your customer revenue, how much everybody's spending. Your drop off versus delivery orders. So that's that pie chart you see on the left. And we've got beautiful charts. And so you could, I'd say about a year, two years ago, it was about 80% of our business, Washington business was in store. And only 20% was pickup and delivery. And now it's about 60-40. Um, and that's the number of orders, not dollars. So, so the important part in the blue, that's a really cool thing too because our software does both in-store and pickup and delivery. So once a day, the customer comes into your laundromat and they drop off their laundry. They find out we do pickup and delivery and they ask us to drive their clothes home to them. And we do it. And the reason why is the average pickup and delivery customer gives us twice as much clothes you know, it goes up from about 20 pounds per order 
It's about 40 pounds per order. We make about $64 per pickup and delivery order. So we love doing pickup and delivery. Um, and that's the biggest growing market share because our culture is changing. People want to reclaim their time. And so it's like a wave that's going on. We want to catch that wave. All right, these are some of our, uh, it's, it's anonymous, some of our uh, results that we've been able to help achieve for our clients. And, you know, it's not like you get the website and the software and suddenly business is just like, boom, <laughs> you know, it's more of you are building upon what you've got and you just keep on adding new and new customers each month. And you keep the ones you got and you add new ones to it. And so you can see over here, they, you know, their business increased from virtually nothing to, to a real business, you know, where they're making money. And then all of a sudden, a natural disaster happened, and they're, they were ready for that opportunity. Well, it sounds cynical, but they were basically prepared. And, and, it, and so they had the website, they had the pickup and delivery, and they got calls from all over saying, we need our clothes done. And, you know, we've got a client who, in New York, and he was saying that, that the, you know, after Hurricane Sandy, people didn't have power and all the stuff. They couldn't take showers, but nobody wanted to put on dirty underwear or dirty clothes. And, you know, so his laundromat was just as busy as could be. Um, so we're in a great business in that people need clean clothes. And so right over here, uh, and people told this owner that I went with your laundromat and your pickup and delivery service because you had the best website and it looked modern and it was easy to place an order. Um, over here, this is somebody else who started up last May, and you could just see a steady increase. Generally takes the website about three months to get fully indexed to really become, um, you know, uh, you know, effective. But you could see that, you know, their business is just steadily in increasing. And the most exciting part is really month to month. When you look at May 2018 compared to May 2019, that's where it gets exciting because then you could start imagining what is 2020 going to look like, what's 2021 going to look like, and you're just building upon your business. And that's, you know, that's what it's all about. Over here, this is a customer that's been with us since 2017, and this does have some of the month over month. So you can see September 2017 versus September 2018, big difference. Um, and, and so you just keep on adding to it. And, it, um, you know, basically the software itself pays for itself, and you've got something that's bringing in new customers. Um, this is another one. So you can see month over month. So green is 2016. And you could just see, you know, just a lot of growth. Over here, once again, we've got somebody starting at about $2,000. So it's an already established wash and fold. And from what I've seen, if you just have a sign that says wash and fold, two minute, four minute drop off, or four minute wash, two minutes drop off, two minutes to pick up, we've, I've generally seen places make anywhere from $500 to $2,500 because really it's a different clientele who comes into a laundromat versus who does wash and fold. So you're kind of marketing to the wrong people with that sign. So that's, once again, you need a website where people can find you. And you need to be ranked highly because nobody goes to the second page of Google. They just, you know, if it's not on the first page, you know, they don't go to page two. Uh, but once again, you could see somebody where it's 2000 bucks and now they're at 6000 and we also did this uh, screenshot, not even at the end of January, so you, so it's going to be even higher. So they've got um, just a great opportunity. Um, this is another one, so you could just see the month over month where you know things are steadily increasing. Um, here, here's another one. Just so one, you know, I mentioned before, it takes about three months for the website to really kick into gear, and then you could see the rate of growth get even higher. And we provide a lot of tips as far as how to make your website even more effective. Um, now I'm going to cover the commercial module and then I'll open up to questions. So if you haven't submitted a question yet, um, we, we will, um, yeah, go ahead and ask the question. Uh, right. This is, this commercial module will be released in March and we're super, super excited about it. So what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to do automatic invoicing. So you could invoice somebody once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, your choice. And, and they're going to be able to, um, they'll be, they'll, they'll be able to, um, you don't have to touch anything. It just automatically sends them the invoice. Our system will automatically remind them to make payment. So if they're late or early, you know, it, it'll basically remind them to go ahead and make a payment. Or the customer could select automatic bill pay. So, the, so that way, they, you know, that's how I pay my utilities. I just do it automatically. And that just makes it super convenient. You could also do customer specific pricing. 
So if that customer gets you know a better rate on linens or price per pound, the launderer doesn't need to know that information. That price automatically gets put in there. The launderer only needs to say it's wash and fold, and it will automatically charge them the right price. The customer will also could schedule their own deliveries, or the owner could even set up deliveries for them and do repeat scheduling. So if you're going by that uh, commercial account every Friday to pick up the dirty clothes, dropping off the clean clothes on Monday, you don't have to schedule that every single time. It does it for you. Um, the customer could also pay by credit card, by e-check, check or cash. So if you want to get away from paying credit card fees, encourage your clients to pay by e-check or ACH payment, and then it just gets drawn from their bank account and you don't have to pay that two and a half, three percent credit card fees. Um, so we're looking forward to that. And once again, all our clients will be getting this commercial module. It'll just get pushed out. And we've got some more you know, things planned for the clean show, which is coming in June. And then we've got some marketing modules coming out. And we also have a, a bag membership coming out as well. Um, all right, so I've got a question. Let me bring it up real quick. For wash and fold, um, if you do your service by the bag and not by the pounds, is that possible? And yes, it is. So you could, um, our software allows you to do it by the pound and you could, or by the item. So you could call something like the blue bag or, and that's 50 bucks and the customer could fill it up as much as they want. Or you got your yellow bag, that's the $75 bag. And, and so you could do it that way. And that works for both in store or pickup and delivery. And then it also, our software automatically adds the order minimum. So whether it's for in-store, you could set the order minimum to you know $15 or pick up and delivery $35 or $40. <clears throat> and um, so you've got that. Later on, although I was keeping this on the down low, but the, we're going to be doing a bag membership built into our software to automatically, so customers could subscribe to a bag program. And and then it will automatically charge the credit card 100 bucks or 150 bucks a month or whatever it is, and they could bring in the bag once per week. So so if you want to do some type of subscription for your customers, whether in store or pick up and delivery, our software will be able to handle that in the future. Um, and it's a great question because you're way ahead of the curve. The biggest objection people have with Wash and Fold is how much is it going to cost me? And that question prevent some people from placing an order, whether it's in store or pick up and delivery. When you say a buck or a buck fifty per pound, you're like, I don't know how much my clothes weigh. People don't know that. People don't want to spend an unknown amount. And so it's hard to get that first time customer to to do it. But if you were to say, hey, it's whatever you could fit inside this bag, it's fifty bucks, customer goes, Yeah, that's easy to, to digest, to understand. Um, so I do think you will get more sales as you go, you know, to the you know, with, with some type of bag as far as like bringing in new customers. All right, so if there are any other questions, um, for repeat customers, yeah, let me see if I could make the question thing bigger because it's it's hard to see the, the next question. So I've got other questions. I'm having trouble getting to the next question. Okay, for repeat customers, is there a way to bring up tickets if they want their wash and fold done the same way rather than going through the steps again, making the customer wait? Um, yeah, so for repeat customers, it it remembers the customer's preferences and and so you you know it, it's really easy for you just look up their name and and it already has their wash and fold preferences right there and they just all they have to do is drop off their clothes and they're out the door same thing with pickup and delivery they don't have to type in their preferences every single time so that's one of the big advantages uh, with their software all right so i got another question um how customizable is the pickup and delivery screen so the pickup and delivery screen, it is, there's some parts that you could customize, such as like your process and pricing and things like that. Um, we also do a customizable email that goes out to customers ahead of time, you know, after they set up an account. So you can let them know about your uh, process of how you do pickup and delivery and setting expectations of leaving your clothes out. Um, in addition, we are planning on updating our pickup and delivery screen and making it the best in the industry. It's so important. So with the pickup and delivery, we've got, in my opinion, like one of the best ones out there where people could log in using Facebook or Google. And so it's so easy for new customers. That's the most important thing is how do you get the new customers to place an order? 
because you got them to your website. And actually, um, and so with our system, all they have to do is click Facebook login or Google login or use their email. But we're going to be making it even better, so we're going to be updating the pickup and delivery screen, so it's going to be a one-page ordering platform. Uh, actually, two pages, but the first page to place your order, and they just go down the list. They create the order. They choose their pickup day, their delivery day, whether they're doing wash and fold or dry cleaning, and 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 they just and they're able to build out the order without even telling the software or the website who they are. So they're able to play around with it, and and a lot of times customers don't want to log into a system before they try it out. It's kind of like Amazon. You know, do you want to tell Amazon who you are, or do you just want to go shopping? So a lot of people want to go shopping and get their hands on it. So we're going to do just that, where they could get their hands on it and play with it and see if they like the order process. And then once they hit next, then it asks them, okay, who are you? Could I get your credit card information to, you know, create to to complete the ordering process? And and so so they're so we feel that's going to increase your conversion rate significantly because. Um, you know, a lot of times people sort of flirt with the idea of playing wa with doing the wash and fold before they actually play make an order. Um, that's one of the reasons why online advertising takes time. You know, a lot of times people don't place an order the first time they go to your website, um, and it's the same thing. So you want them playing around with it. You want it to be as easy as possible. And once again, once we update that, everybody's software will be updated. You don't have to do anything. It just automatically gets uh, made with the latest. Oh, could you go over the over the counter? To, um, items for selling detergents and things like that. So I'll go ahead and and get that. So let me um, bring that in. And so we have a whole register just for over-the-counter items. This is it right here. And so this is this is the um, you could simply tap Coke, and or you know if you laundry products you could do a box of soap. Super easy to use. And our software will automatically email you if the cash drawer doesn't reconcile at the end of the shift. So it's all customizable, and it's yeah e easy to use, um, easy to create new items. People can pay by credit card, cash, or check. Um, does this connect to any cloud-based bookkeeping systems? So not at this time. So we are going to be doing the online, um, you know, automatic invoicing. Uh, we are looking at doing quick and APIs. We do have our development schedule, so we want to get all that stuff nailed down. Uh, we do take requests, like as far as like, and we keep a checklist of what people are looking for. And whenever somebody asks for something, like right now, uh, we add it to our checklist, and then that way we know what to develop next. So a lot of our development is user based. Um, do you have optimizing for routes and delivery? So that's going to be coming uh, by the Clean Show. So right now you've got a driver's list tells you where to go next. When you tap in route, the customer receives a text message saying you're 20 minutes away. When you pick up the clothes, you tap, you picked up, and the customer receives a text message saying you have their clothes so they don't have to worry, does somebody else have my clothes? Um, so it's really easy and you just click on the map and it shows you where to go. Um, but we're gonna be optimizing the route so it'll make the most efficient route possible. Um, so that's coming around June. Um, how do you do end of the day drawer balancing? So our software does that as well. You could reconcile at the end of each shift. Um, and and so, yeah, it's, it's really easy. You just, um, you're able to, let me, I, I'd have to end this register transaction. And then one of the options is to reconcile it. And then you say how much money is in the drawer. And if there's a discrepancy, that's when the owner gets an automatic email, which is really important to know right away. If you find out two weeks ago that the cash drawer is five bucks off, Good luck ever finding how that happened. But if you find out right away, um, you know, then a lot of times the employee will know why, why it's off. So anyways, that wraps it up. If you have any questions, feel free to call or email, or we could schedule a one-on-one -on -one, uh, online demonstration. And yeah, just wanted to thank everybody again for joining the, the webinar. So, um, and look forward to speaking with everybody soon. So thanks again for taking time out to take a look.